All right, guys. So welcome back to YouTube. And this is uh, a little different than I normally do because I usually don't come on here and do these uh, straight talking videos. But this is going to be one of those ones since uh, we just um, we just came back from a big event. So the Arnold Classic 2024. I seem to always find a way to get back on stage uh, at the Arnold Classic. Last year they had the 35th anniversary. They brought us up on stage, all the former winners. And of course, this year I was selected to be the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award. So if you guys watched um, the presentation, this actual crystal was a replacement because I usually get a big bowl. I guess they, the winner gets a big bowl and uh, they broke it. <laughs> they broke it in transit. So uh, this, is, this is, I'm actually going to get two awards. So this one and then they'll send me the bowl, but this is engraved and it says... Uh, 2024 Lifetime Achievement Award from the Arnold Classic, which I'm truly honored. And I gave a little bit of background on, you know, what Arnold, what influence he had on me, like he had on millions of other people, not only in bodybuilding, but just life in general. Uh, you know, he was one of these people that I looked at in Terminator movies and, you know, Commando. I remember seeing that movie. I mean, Twins, you know, growing up, you know, watching this. And, you know, I used to go to the Arnold every single year. Uh, as a spectator, and I'd sit in his in his introduction of the show, and they would show when he was making blockbuster films. You know, he was the he was the highest grossing uh, action hero uh, in these films of anyone. So he would actually preview these uh, these reels of what was coming. You know, what projects he was working on, and I'm not sure how many movies a year someone of his stature did. I mean, maybe two or three, or sometimes maybe it was four, you know, more than that. But uh, he <clears throat> he had some signature movies. And I look at action heroes. I know, like, a lot of people think, you know, there's been all these several action stars. I mean, Stallone, I mean, I guess. But, uh, you know, Van Damme was also a huge inspiration to me. John Van Damme, Van Damme with uh, Bloodsport. But I think more importantly, uh, you, you can think about all these films that Arnold, you know, he portrayed, you know, you know, uh, like the Commando character, the Terminator, um, you know, when he could be cut into comedy and, and Kindergarten Cop and Twins. And, you know, he, he actually was able to fit a lot of different roles. And, and obviously the, the odds were stacked against him with his, you know, with his accent and everything else. And. You know, just like him, Joe Weider brought me to California uh, as a dream, right? And he put me under contract with the magazines, and he introduced me to a lot. We used to sit at his house. Joe Weider would invite me over, and we talk about life after bodybuilding. You know, investing and you know doing things to further not only your your fitness career but you know business in general. And I feel like he instilled a lot of that on Arnold because Arnold, you know, obviously has a lot more investments than you know, just running on a classics now and, you know, being a, involved in film and everything else, you know, he does a lot of real estate and, you know, a lot of him, he did the Planet Hollywood uh, investment for some time, you know, s signing off on that with Stallone, uh, Robert Earl, you know, who's been super successful in Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas. But uh, it, it's just, you know, it's a special time for me because here I am at 50, right? And I always wondered, and this may be a shock to a lot of you, I always wondered what my life would be at 50, especially like knowing that I would be retired from bodybuilding when that was like the only journey that I set forward to do, right? At 18, I made that commitment and I started training and, you know, one team nationals at 19 and then, you know, turned pro at 23. And my dream was to be, you know, someone known in bodybuilding. Now, I wasn't sure if that was going to be a Mr. Olympia title uh, I, when I got to second place for the first time in 2001, I realized that that was going to be my destiny, right? I knew that I could win this thing. And obviously I had to conquer Ronnie in order to get there. And, you know, I got a lot, gave a lot of praise to him and a lot of other people that, um, were involved, you know, and a lot of you guys know, uh, I had different points in my career, you know, 2006 winning this thing. Um, you look around this room, you can see that in a lot of the pictures in the background, um, huge turning point for my career because being second to the greatest bodybuilder at that time, you know, and then all of a sudden winning, I didn't realize how much it would propel my career. I mean, guys, financially, um, notoriety, 
everything just moved forward in my life. And, you know, I'm so thankful and so blessed for that. And one thing I'm very thankful for is I was able to retire healthy from bodybuilding. And I know there's been this whole black cloud over bodybuilding and, you know, that it's not healthy. And, and listen, nothing when you push yourself to extreme is going to be as healthy as it can be. It's just like driving fast down the freeway in a car. Um, we, you know, it's just, you know, you, there's always circumstance, right? Uh, but with bodybuilding, like pacing yourself, um, choosing, you know, uh, when you're cycling and, and really, you know, what your body can handle. I mean, I'm fortunate. I was one of the larger guys. I mean, when I started training, I was natural at 200 pounds, graduating high school. Uh, I think a lot of people in my high school are not surprised at what my abilities were in becoming a bodybuilder. I mean, I wrote in my high school yearbook, no pain, no gain, right? And I didn't even really lift weights at that point. You know, it was kind of a plan in my head to join the gym at 18, which I did, you know, a few months after. And I gave it a go. I mean, I just pushed myself and, and uh, you know, it was not easy. I can tell you that they showed a crazy highlight reel at the Arnold with, you know, all my accolades and, you know, the, the rise up, but they didn't see as much dark time other than losing to Dexter in 2008. Like there's been so many ups and downs, you know, between strains and I didn't have any major injuries except in 2011 when I tore the bicep, uh, you know, but I was able to really fulfill what I believe was a storybook career, you know, not only on the stages, but off the stages. And I, I got my due respect by getting this award, especially from Arnold. I mean, my idol, right? I mentioned that. Uh, he continues to motivate us. Uh, he con continues to support bodybuilding. You saw that he's gonna raise the prize money for first prize to 500K, okay, next year. Listen, I was winning 100 when I was there, 100,000 and a Hummer truck, I won three Hummer trucks up here, um, you know, some watches or whatever else, but Man, I can tell you guys that that really gave me a big boost in order to invest money, save money. You know, when you get those big checks, it's, it makes a huge difference. So, you know, when you guys have the opportunity to, to hit those big scores, anything in life, I mean, I jumped on that opportunity. So I think it's, it's going to be amazing for the contest. I think that you're going to see a lot of the top guys. I mean, I don't know what the Olympia is going to do for the, the end of this year for prize, but... I would believe that, you know, Arnold offering 500 for first, it's going to entice a lot of these guys, you know, like the hotties. I mean, I don't, Derek, you know, Nick Walker. I mean, it, it's got to be a thought in your mind. Like I have to go, you know, possibly win this, this much money, especially think about the guy winning the Olympia, even if it's 400,000 in the, in the, in the fall, you know, in October, and then, you know, turning around and preparing and going for the Mr. Olympia, uh, for the Arnold classic, you know, you're winning, basically almost a million bucks in a short amount of time, like six months. I mean, guys, it's just, that's, that's like staggering numbers and it can make a huge difference in your life. I don't care what anyone says. They might say, well, bodybuilding doesn't pay that much. And, but listen, 500 grand is 500 grand. I mean, it's a lot. So my hat goes off to Arnold. It goes off to, you know, I, I appreciate the staff over there. Um, I had a great show. A lot of great people came out to see me. You know, I was appearing for meet and greets and, you know, I was at Celsius for a little bit and, you know, just the, just the comments and the people that wait in line year after year to come see me, you don't understand how much I appreciate that. Uh, because it is a lot of long waiting for, for a lot of the athletes you come to see or, you know, influencers or whoever it is. And, you know, I got to, I got to see, you know, a lot of my peers, um, a lot of the new talent, you know, Seabum and Sam Sulik and all these guys, which I appreciate what they're doing. You know, they're getting out there, putting out content. Um, man, if I had YouTube back in the ni 90s, um, it would be phenomenal. I mean, I started filming, I think, in around 2000, probably 2007, 8. I started doing YouTube, I think, somewhere around there, maybe 2008. And I was filming Swell Monkey Productions, which if you go back on this YouTube channel, you can probably go down to the bottom and you can see the original videos when we were using handheld and, you know, Brian Glenn and Big Swole and, you know, Eric Delore, all of us were training Big Dave Borlay, um, who's still, you know, working with closely with me. Um, but it's, it's just a, it's an awesome opportunity um, to be in this position. And I, I just want to thank you guys because I know you come on the channel and 
you guys comment and you, you appreciate a lot that goes on. And, you know, I try to keep up with the content. Listen, it's not easy at 50, right? I'm getting ready to jump on a plane and go to the Arnold UK now. You know, I have an event in, you know, in Bethlehem, PA for Guy Sister Nino's new gym opening on the 23rd. So if you guys are in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania area, come out and see me. It's going to be a free event there. I think Branch Warren's there, Nick Walker's there, myself. I think a lot of other fitness personalities. And then we have the Jay Cutler Desert Classic on March 30th. That's happening here in Las Vegas at the South Point Casino. It's going to be a massive event. I mean, probably our biggest one ever. Um, and then, of course, you know, head to Massachusetts next month, the end of the month for the Jay Cutler Classic Boston. And we have a new venue for that. I'm excited. I'll be at FIBO mid, mid-April. Um, I'll also be in, in North Carolina in Statesville for Genesis uh, Gym Grand Opening or Appreciation Day. So busy, busy schedule. I mean, it's, it's, that's what it is. Always the spring, it's super busy. Uh, but I'll be c- continuing to put out content. You know, I'm going to try to get some stuff here at the uh, UK Arnold. I'm going to bring my Osmo, which I'm filming on now. And I just wanted to come on and just thank everyone because, you know, I gave a special thanks to everyone and I did shout out to people watching all over the world, the people that attended and they got to witness my speech in person. And I just want to thank all of you because, like I said, the, the fans became my friends. So I hate to call everyone fans. It's more supporters and people on this channel. You're dedicated to this channel. So I want to say I appreciate you. Um, let's keep working at it. Let's keep focused on what we're doing and, um, you know, keep bringing content, keep motivating each other. You know, if you guys want to comment below, you know, maybe an experience where you met me at this, this year's Arnold or maybe you're going to meet me in the UK or whatever, because this video should be out by then. Let's uh, let's get on here and, uh, you know, let's communicate a little bit and and uh, show some appreciation to each other. Uh, and, uh, thank you guys so much for following along the channel. I hope you guys, uh, continue to watch the content. Once again, thank you, Arnold Schwarzenegger for this wonderful award. I'll show you guys the dish once I get it in, uh, to kind of replace this thing, but I feel pretty awesome because I actually have two awards, two lifetime achievement awards, because this is going to sit here. You know, I have a bunch of crystals on my desk. This is a cup, you know, stoked on printing gave me the, these crystals every year. Um, you know, I have a lot of accolades you know, in this room, as you can see. So let me just kind of show it around a little bit. So, I mean, you can see all this stuff, right? All these awards guys in this room, see the Hummer truck sitting up there on the top. Those are the Hummers that I won for the, uh, for my Arnold classics. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's going to do it for another JTV guys. All right. Appreciate you. Make sure you guys uh, comment below, and uh, we'll see you at the next uh, at the next video. Okay, all the best. All right, love you guys. No mercy for you, no worries for you. That Game of Thrones, go Cersei on you. I flip the script, I roll the dice. Don't fall asleep, cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to?